Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in and week out. We prophesy the downfall of this weak ass, wicked ass kingdom they call America. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh yeah, by Shem Yahweh Shah. Shah. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And shout out to all the Akiyam out there pushing this truth and peace and sincerity. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, Look at Isaiah 33 and 6. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And with and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Uh, so right there, uh, wisdom and knowledge gonna be the stability of our times. How wisdom and knowledge gonna be the stability of our times? By knowing martial law gonna come to fit. By knowing the market of beasts, you know what I'm saying? Knowing you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? Gonna get thrown in the concentration camps. How right, wisdom and knowledge gonna be stability of our times? First of all, knowing the name of Yahweh by shooting y'all was shot. That's right. And knowing his name is not Jesus Christ, because the J word is only 400 years old. 400 years old, you know what I'm saying? That's Contrary right. to the popular belief, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, Marie, uh, Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1 Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help And stay on horses and trust in chariots Because they are many in horsemen Because they are, are Because they are very strong But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel And neither see Yahweh Basha So basically these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans They going down to America for help You know what I'm saying? They go to their government for help. You know what I'm saying? They uh, what? We uh, um, stamps. food stamps, all that. Yeah, well, all hell I'm break sure. loose. Uh, so called them devils, the Edomites. They gonna be like uh, come downtown. You know what I'm saying? You get your microchip. Yeah. That way you can eat. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take your microchip, then what? Then you gonna starve. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the most I say, whoa, they go down to Egypt for help, man. Which America, yeah. man? If you take that microchip, you might as well kiss your uh. Your soul goodbye, man. Yep. The most high gonna destroy your ass for that shit. Come. So for y'all weak motherfuckers who wanna who wanna take that uh, microchip, the most high got something for y'all, man. Come. I got you out. It's a lot of you, girl. It's a lot. I'm gonna read Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. And they say, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne or daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Cause right now, man, we in Babylon, which comes for the word Babylon, which we, means confusion, man. And the Most High saying, "Come sit down, America, man." Cause we know this is wicked, sinful kingdom that uh, the scriptures talk about, man. And uncover the lots, man, because everything about America, man, is unfolding, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We're not really that who we really are. That we are the real Hebrew Israelites. That we from Israel. We're not from here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Cause the scriptures tell you that we came over here and slave cargo slave ships. Matter of fact, get here. Because the scriptures really tell you uh, how we came up here, how we was going to be selling to our enemies, man. Because you got two thirds of people, man. They don't, they don't care about the truth, man. They don't understand that we were brought over here in cargo slaves just to serve punishment. Because we went off from the law of special commandments. So, yeah, I was about to shoot. I was shot. You know right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord, you know, by shooting, you was shot, shall bring thee into Egypt. Again with ships, by the way where, where, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So that right in letting you know, man, that we came over here on the cargo slave ship. They talking about the so-called Negro and Latinos and Native Americans, and when it says, uh, well, first of all, when it says he's gonna bring us into Egypt. Egypt means bodies. I mean, he's gonna put us back in the uh, in, into restraint and up under the so-called white man, the Arabs, the uh, Chinese, uh -huh. and the uh, so-called Hamites, which are the Africans, man. Because we're not African, we're not American. We are uh -huh. we are the real Hebrew Israelites that they speak of in the Bible. Uh -huh. And it says you you will be sold into your buying men and buying women. So if you say that, that letting you know right there, man, that uh we're gonna be sold and no man shall buy you. That means nobody's gonna try to help us get up out of this captivity, man. So no, but yeah, people be looking for help and be out here protesting to the to the so-called white man about Black Lives Matter and all that shit. 
don't know I want to hear that shit, man. Because nobody, they actually are happy that we are up under these, these uh, curses, man. Which they really don't know that they're curses. They think that they just more smarter than us and they think that they're more powerful than us. That's why they think that we're going to always be in this condition. But that's not true, man. The most high, he, he uh, is coming back, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. All right. So for all them people who are out there just being coons and out there cooning them before them, man, the most high going to destroy your ass, man. Keep getting lined up, keep getting poor, keep uh, playing that bullshit ass music. Music, going to the clubs, partying, you know, following bullshit. That's why they hop out shit and y'all was trying to say, uh, this world is foolish, man. All right. All right. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Come and let us return unto the Lord of for he have torn and he will heal us. He have smitten and he will blind, he will bind us up. Yeah. So I'm saying turn back to you how about shit, how was shot, man, while you still got time, you know what I'm saying? That's the why, man, it's gonna be too late, man. Take a picture of the kill trails, cause they killing you right now, really, you know it or not. You got to kill trails out. And people don't even know what the hell that is, man. A lot of people don't even look up in the sky, man. Yep. They think there's a shooting star or something, man. <laughs> yeah, they think it's a guy now shooting a star or some shit, man. Stars ain't, stars are stationary, man. They ain't gonna fucking move. What y'all think is those shooting stars? Those are really chariots of the most high. What y'all think is UFOs? Those are chariots of the most high. You all buy shit, y'all shot, man. And he coming back to destroy this motherfucking place and everybody who don't want to get down with it, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because really, man, as we know, man, our people out here calling themselves African Americans. They call themselves black. You know what I'm saying? They destroy it for lack of knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this the book of Psalms. This is the reason. This is the reason why he had to to destroy it for lack of knowledge, man. Because the fucking information. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 4. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel." may be no more in remembrance. So the so-called white man try to take our heritage, man. That's what they're talking about because they know that the Israelites, the so-called Latino, Native Americans, we got the blessing and the birthright. We got the blessing and the And they say, come and let us, they say, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That means they're going to take our, they're trying to take our heritage, which they did. Really, it was Yahweh that took our heritage, but the so-called white man and everybody else, they know who we really are, man. The elites, not the people who really know who they are, but the elites, and everybody else, they know who we really are, man. The elites. Not them peon ass crackers, man. The elites of uh of uh the so-called white man, man. They already know who we really are. They know who they are, man. They know that they are Hebrew Edomites. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, man. So when they say let them let us cut them off from being a nation, they thinking that if they do that, then they can go and talk to Yahweh and be like, well, you see what how your people act and you see how they doing it, they that they can take our place. But they can't take our place, man. Because the most I got it all set up and he really fooling their ass, man. He got them in a trick bag, man. I got the right guy. This Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So if you say if people destroy for a lack of knowledge, I mean most people don't even want to consider this word, man. They want to listen to their pork chop eating pastor. Right. They want to sit there and just go to church and thinking that when they hear these lies that these pastors tell them, they think that's the good word, man. But we out here on these highways and byways, they ain't want to hear it, man. They ain't want to listen, man. But this is the real truth, man. If I could say something, Go ahead, I what they don't realize is, man, these pastors in these churches, man, they don't understand that the Roman Catholic Church said about that stuff that they they preaching to us. And then another thing they don't understand is that that was the same doctrine that the slave masters were beating into our people, right. man. Con, that's right, Con, bro. That's Con, right, bro. That's right. Con. That's right. And they say, um, I'm going to start at Hosea chapter 4, verse 7. I'm Shalaki. I'm going to start back over at Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. So how about Shemhah Shagun? 
turn you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans glory into shame, man, because y'all destroy it for lack of knowledge, you know? Y'all know, man, that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, gonna destroy this place with nuclear fire, man. We in the right. midst of World War III right now, you That's know right. what I'm saying? That's right. right. It's time to get back, bro. Come back. Know you're a Hebrew Israelite, bro. You're from Israel, Israel, bro. Brother. The scriptures yeah, tell you where you're from, man. bro. You, you hey, know what I'm saying? part of God's chosen people. For real, man. bro. That's right, bro. It's right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jeremiah, uh, matter of fact, it's Jeremiah 14 and 1, you know what I'm saying? Because it say uh, Judah morning, man. Because most of our people morning, man. They ain't really. Jeremiah 14. Most of our people mourning, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, they, they, they don't know what to do, what to come, you know what I'm saying? They the uh, last ones hired, first ones fired, you know what I'm right. saying? Right, because they destroy it for lack of knowledge, man. They they try to kiss the so-called white man ass up <laughs> down time, man. But you ain't supposed to be like that. One. One. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 1. The word of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh that came to Jeremiah concerning the dirt, Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground, and they yeah. cry of Jerusalem is going up. So right there, tell you what, the, what color the real Jews is, man. Which comes for the word uh, Kadar, which means dark skin. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. So it's saying Jude, the real Jews are mourning, man. So what them uh, Karzars over there doing in our land, man? That's right. You know what I'm saying? They over there having homosexual parades, man. When you how about Shimmy how shot, he's against homosexuals, man. Whether you like it or not. But America, you know what I'm saying? They promote that bullshit, man. Matter of fact, get uh, Leviticus uh, 20 and 13. And I got, uh, I'm getting Jeremiah 7, uh, verse 16, man. Because like you say, uh, our people destroy for lack of knowledge, but you know what I'm saying? But what, what the love in this right here? Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16. I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine this sheep against me. They return, but not to the most high. They are like a deceitful vow. Their princes shall fall by the sword. For the rage of their tongue, this shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Because they turn against Shahab by Shahab Shah. So when all hell break loose, man, it's going to be super derision, man. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Like That's the right. scripture say, man, uh, they, uh, they, they, um, uh, Roughly paraphrasing, but man, y'all gonna man, these animals gonna be eating y'all in that day, man. You <laughs> right, know what man. I'm saying? It's gonna be all type of calamities and catastrophes coming. Whoever ain't with y'all by shim y'all shot, they gonna be coming your way, man. So you could be just walking, man, the fucking grizzly bear just come out of nowhere. <laughs> you could be in town, man, just come and gobble your ass up, man. For real. That's how the most high get down, man. Everybody think the most high y'all by shim y'all shot. Everybody think he's some little nice white man coming back with peace, man, but he coming back with sort of destruction, man. This is the book of Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as if he lieth with a woman, uh, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. The scriptures say they shall surely be put to death, man. How about Shem Yahweh Shai say he a man that don't change, man. He say he was the same yesterday, today, and forever, man. So what are they teaching in these churches, man? You know what I'm saying? They teach man, a bunch of lies. Con. I got uh, Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 13. For according to the number of thy cities were their powers of Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have ye set al altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or pray for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Cause they don't got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. They reject Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, like we were saying in Hosea 4 and 6, you know what I'm saying? And, and basically, most I say, don't lift up a prayer for them when all hell start breaking loose, you know what I'm saying? Now right. you so called white people going to slavery. That's don't right! Fuckers. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, get Hebrews, uh, Shalaki. Get, man, start, get Obadiah. We're going to switch it up a little bit since they want to look over here. Get on their ass a little bit. We're going to get on you so-called devils, man. So-called what? Y'all yeah. the devil that book that the Bible speaks of, man. Which devils just mean deceiving. Don't get tripped up because in church they, they make you think a damn devil with red man's horns, <laughs> man. Uh, right. book, some fairy tale, man. What the fuck they think, uh, man? You might as well believe in the Bernstein Bears before you leave in that bullshit. <laughs> <bullshit. laughs> That's right, bro. You got something to say, out? No, I'm good. Yeah. 
this um verse six. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter six, chapter one, verse six. 